this court cannot know why Hernandez chose to end his life. I decline to infer an intent by Hernandez to relinquish his appellate rights or an intent to interfere with the course of justice from his suicide, a tragic act that may have complex and myriad causes. The Commonwealth supplemental filings suggest many possible motives for suicide unrelated to the defendant's appeal. The report contained in that supplemental filing, uh, which is a series of statements purportedly made by unnamed inmates. Particularly telling is the fact that according to the Department of Corrections investigatory report, inmates were aware of, and some viewed as disrespectful, a radio broadcast that, quote, brought up the fact that Hernandez may be gay. The report also states that according to other inmates, Hernandez had become increasingly spiritual while in prison, and they viewed his suicide as some sort of religious message. One inmate stated that Hernandez frequently talked with a religious tone and expressed his belief that when you die, your soul gets reincarnated. A religious motive and possible mental disturbance is reflected in the note Hernandez allegedly left for his fiance, in which he wrote, this was the Supremes, the Almighty's plan, not mine. The report states that an inmate who claimed to be one of Hernandez's best friends said that after the verdict in the other case, Hernandez had been talking about the NFL and going back to play even if it wasn't with the Pats. Statements that do not reflect the mindset of a defendant who intended to waive his right of appeal. In any event, this court could not draw the inferences suggested by the Commonwealth as proof of intent or forfeiture, proof of waiver or forfeiture without holding an evidentiary hearing as to the manner of death should that be contested and the facts that bear on waiver or forfeiture. A court should not have to conduct an exhaustive examination in every case as to the circumstances of a defendant's death to determine if it actually was suicide, if the defendant had the capacity to make a voluntary choice whether or not to live and the factors or factor uh, that motivated the suicide. The interests of justice, I conclude, do not warrant a departure from the doctrine of abatement under the theory that suicide constitutes waiver of the right to appeal or the theory that suicide constitutes forfeiture by wrongdoing. Finally, the Commonwealth argued in its brief that the interests of justice warrant not abating Hernandez's convictions on the grounds that he had a negligible probability of success on appeal. None of the Massachusetts cases discussing abatement hint that the merits of the appeal might be relevant. In any event, Hernandez has not, did not uh, yet file a motion for new trial or appellate briefs before his death, and this court cannot speculate as to the potential grounds he may have raised to challenge his convictions. Accordingly, there being no reason to recognize any exception in this case in the interest of justice, the court has no choice but to abate the proceedings of initio by vacating Hernandez's convictions and dismissing the charges against him and uh, his appeal.